Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my intro for the Graveyard Project Pan. This project was originally created by Emily from Emily and Max who I will have linked down in the description box along with all of the details about this project. This is my first time participating in the project, but it's one that I've watched other people participate in for many years now, and I sort of just made the last minute decision to join this year. I had a couple of products in mind that I felt like fit the prompts and that I wanted to work on and hopefully get some good progress on. Um, so I am jumping in. If you, like myself, are new to the Graveyard Project Pan, it is a six month project. So it starts today, April 30th, and runs until Halloween, October 31st, which explains the slightly spooky theming of the graveyard. You can choose five plus products, and there are two general categories of products that you can choose from. The first is the resurrection products, which are products that you've tried to pan before, maybe you didn't finish them or get to the amount of progress that you wanted to in that project. So this is another chance for you to bring those products back in and work on them. And the other one is collecting cobwebs. So these are neglected products in your collection, products that you haven't used in a while. I've got products from both of these categories. I'm starting with six products, three resurrection products, and three collecting cobwebs products. Um, so I'm going to go through these with you, and the updates for this project are every other month. Um, so an update in June, an update in August, and then in the finale um, at the end of October. So I am going to start with my Collecting Cobwebs products. So these are products in my collection that I haven't been reaching for um, and that I want to make sure I'm getting some progress on. The first is my Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow in the shade Copper Halo. So those of you who are Kosas fans might know that they actually reformulated these. And the general consensus was that the reformulated version was definitely not as good as the original. This is one of the original of their 10 Second Eyeshadows. So that tells you how long it's been in my collection. And I'm conscious that Kosas is a clean beauty brand. If you've been keeping up with my channel, for any amount of time you know I've had a couple Kosas products go bad on me and I definitely want to get some more use out of this before it goes bad. I really love the shade of this product. I'll just give you a little swatch here on my hand. It's a, just a really nice wearable copper shade. It's not too orange. It's got a nice brown undertone and some bronziness to it. So it's actually one that I can definitely get away with wearing day to day, just with some mascara, maybe a little bit of liner if I want to make it a little bit smokier. And I find that this is also a buildable product, so I can do a sheer wash if I'm not feeling like wearing a ton of pigment on my eyes, or I can build it up again to get a smokier, more dramatic look. I know I won't be able to finish this within the six month duration of this project, so I am going to set a 30 use goal on this. Um, so I'll try to use it 30 times. That averages out to about five times a month over the course of the project. If my math is correct, usually it isn't. But my goal is just to make sure that I'm not forgetting about this in my drawer. I haven't used it yet in 2023, and I honestly can't even remember the last time that I used it. So definitely one that's been collecting cobwebs and one that I'm excited to pull into this project. Next up for collecting cobwebs, we have my Becca Opal Highlighter in the mini size. Mine looks a little bit messy because it did shatter and I did have to repress it. If you've been keeping up with my Project 10 Pan this year, you'll know that I've been working on the liquid version of the Becca Opal Highlighter. I find that the liquid and the powder pair really well together and it has been a very long time since I've used a powder highlighter regularly in my routine. And I figured since this one is a mini, I will set my goal as hitting pan. I'm not sure if that's a lofty goal for a powder highlight over six months, but I don't have pan on any of my highlighters. I've never hit pan on a powder highlighter, and I figured this might be a good one to try and aim for a pan since it pairs so well with the highlighter that I'm already working with in another project. And finally, for collecting cobwebs, don't judge me but I have a very, very old lipstick that I wanna roll in. It's the oldest lipstick in my collection, but it still smells okay and performs okay, so I wanna get some more use on it knowing that it's probably going to expire soon. 
It is the Mac and Samantha Ravindal collab. Does anyone remember this collab? Please don't tell me how many years ago this was. I know it was probably far too many years ago. Like I said, it still smells fine. It's still performing okay. And at the end of this year, I know for sure I'm going to be decluttering this. So I wanna try to get as much use on this as I can before I know I really do need to throw it out. Um, I would like to finish this lipstick completely. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that in the six months. We'll see how far I can get. Maybe I'll be able to finish it by the end of the year, but just use this project to get a head start on that and make a lot of progress. This is just the most beautiful nude pink shade. It's it was supposed to be Samantha's Perfect Nude, so of course I had to buy it. It was actually only available in MAC Canada, and back in the day, I actually was able to contact through the comments on Samantha's YouTube video, one of her Canadian subscribers who offered to send it to me. <laughs> so I went to great lengths to get this lipstick. Um, I love Sam, wanted to support her, and also it's just the most beautiful perfect nude shade ever. So I will be sad to see this go. If anybody knows of a good dupe for this shade, please let me know. But in the meantime, I would like to be working on this for the duration of this Graveyard Project Pan. I figured I would track the usage of the lipstick on paper, so I'll go ahead and show you what that's looking like as it's marked on the paper now. Hopefully that will be a really clear way of tracking progress um, every other month. Those are all of my Collecting Cobwebs products, so now let's move on to the Resurrection products. Again, these are products that you've tried panning in the past, maybe you've had them in other panning projects and you haven't been successful. So last year I did a Rolling Project Tin pan in the same style as I'm doing this year, but I tracked it on my Instagram because I obviously hadn't started my YouTube channel yet, and one of the products in that project was my Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner in the shade Pillow Talk, which is, it's just such a pretty burgundy shade that's really, really flattering, and I made a ton of progress, but I just sort of have left it to the wayside for a while since trying to pan it last year and I figure I might be able to get really really close to finishing it in six months if I work hard. So I'm rolling this one back in and my goal is to finish it. We'll see if I'm able to achieve that. Here is what that pencil is looking like now. Here is a swatch of the shade, which I absolutely love. Such a nice alternative to brown and black for every day. And this is one that I also decided to track on paper so that we could see really clear progress. So hopefully you can see my starting point really clearly and we'll be able to go ahead and track that progress every other month. Also in the Resurrection products is a blush that I have been unofficially panning since last year, so it hasn't technically been in a panning project, but it is very, very close to being finished, and I need a little bit more motivation to actually get it done, and so I figured it would be perfect for this project. It is my Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Blush in the shade Peach Sunset. This is actually a mini. Even though it's a mini though, it's taken me a really, really long time to get through. And you can see I actually don't have that much product left. I'm really working with just what's left around the sides here, which is more product than you might think. I found this blush to be a little bit deceiving. Every time I think I'm almost finished with it, it just seems to go on forever and ever. So my goal for this one in this project is to finish it, even though it is my favorite blush. <laughs> it's my favorite cream blush in my collection. Um, I have a lot of blush to work through and I can always repurchase this later um, if I find I still want it in my collection. But for the meantime, I just need to go ahead and use up what's left and get this out. So I will be working on this blush and hopefully finish it by the end of this project. And finally, for my Resurrection products, I have the Laura Mercier Lip Glacé in the shade Bare Baby. This is, again, a little bit of a cheat because I worked on this lip gloss in my Rolling Project 10 pan last year, but it was actually another lip gloss. I had two of these. Um, so I haven't worked on this individual product in a project yet, but it is the same product. Does that make sense? What? <laughs> I haven't worked on this particular 
iteration of this lip gloss. I worked on the same shade of lip gloss last year, but I had two of them in my collection. So I'm working on it again. This used to be my favorite lip gloss, um, and I used to try and stock up on it, which is why I had two. I've since moved on to other lip gloss formulations that I like better, and I find this one to be a little bit streaky. It's not the most flattering on my lips, and it's a little bit sticky. I'm actually wearing it today, and it's fine, but it's certainly old in my collection at this point, and I have other lip gloss formulas that I'm wearing more. So I wanted to roll this in to try and finish. Um, we'll see if I can do that within six months. I think if I work really hard and focus on it, I can. Luckily, it does pair really well with the MAC and Samantha Ravindal um, lipstick, so that's it's a match made in heaven, um, along with the lip liner that I'm panning in my Rolling Project 10 pan this year, which is MAC Whirl. That's like one of my favorite lip combinations I have in my collection currently. Um, so hopefully I can get through this entire lip gloss by October 31st and get another lip product out of my collection because I have way way too many lip products. There's no real windowing or anything as of yet so you can't really see exactly where the product is in the tube but hopefully with more use I'll be able to let it sit upright on my desk and level out so that maybe I can mark it with a sharpie or just be able to show you visible progress in the tube itself. So those are all of the products that I'm going to be working on in this graveyard project pan. If you are participating in this project please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to go and check out your intro and cheer you on as we all work through these products together over the next six months. I'm really excited to be joining this project and looking forward to seeing the progress that I can make. If you would like to see my progress, please feel free to subscribe so that you never miss an update. And I also have a project panning playlist, which I can link down below for you, that has all of my videos so far this year detailing all of the projects that I'm working on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all having a good day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!